Hey everyone, today we're gonna take a look at the Diatlas X64 emulator and the problem that a lot of you are having on version 0.4 and see how we can fix this issue. So, I just recently updated to another version of Diatlas X64 and it appears that it's working. So on version 0.4, if you started the application, it just gave you an error and it crashed. So uh, it was working for a couple weeks and then a lot of people were experiencing that issue where they just couldn't even go into the main menu. So here we have another version of Diatlas X64, which I'll be sharing with you here in just a bit. And it looks like it grabbed all of the games that I had in my folder and scanned everything perfectly. And we are going to test this one out and see how well this performs. So let's just go to this one here. And it looks like it found this ROM in the PSP folder. It's interesting. And I'm getting 60 frames here. There we go. So I opened up my plugin to see where we're at with the frames and I'll have a link to that video if you're interested in installing this one in the description down below or have a card ready for you here on the screen. So it looks good so far, just the audio is a bit off which is typical with these uh, older games. It's running really smooth here. So let's try Samus. Press start. And we're just gonna do a little demo here. Oh yeah, that's that's really nice. Looks better on my screen than what you're seeing here on the uh, OBS. All right, so let's go back, and what we're gonna do now is go to. Let me turn this off. We're going to go to Vita Homebrew Browser and it's working just fine for me right now so we're just going to use this. So here we are and we're going to go to the Emulators tab and you'll see two different Diatlas X64 options and you'll see the one released for version 0.4 on June 28th and this one on May 29th and this one is the nightly version which is the one I'm currently using and this is version 0.4 so let's download this right let's install 0.4 and see what happens all right it's finished let's go check it out let's open this up checking for updates And there is the error, C2-12828-1. So let's go back to Vita Homebrew Browser. Now we're going to download the nightly version. Here it is, nightly. You'll see that under Rene Gattamonte. Let's download. And replace version 0.4 and it looks like we're at the end of the installation and it does take a couple of minutes let's go back home and give it another shot downloading compatibility list database very good and there you have it a working Diatlas x64 Perfect. Now, if for some odd reason the nightly version doesn't work for some of the ROMs that were previously working on version 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, you can actually get those versions back. And we're going to go to Vita Shell real quick and we're going to open up my VPK folder under UXL. And here I keep all of my VPKs, everything backed up in this folder. And it doesn't take too much space. You can see it's less than two gigabytes. 
and I highly recommend you guys not to delete your VPKs because there could be a day where some of this stuff will no longer exist or be taken off the website or off the internet for good and you're gonna be stuck with nothing you know and at least you'll have that VPK existing in your folder you have a backup of this stuff and I'll also back it up on your PC if you have that space so I have two different versions of Diatalus x64 and this one is version 0.3 so let's install this one and that way if you're experiencing all sorts of problems with some of this stuff or you end up I don't know restarting from scratch you can at least have all this stuff backed up and you don't have to be uh, going back and forth looking for it online or going back to wherever you got it from a video and that way you just have everything all in one place here we are and let's run Smash Brothers And you can no longer get this stuff online and that's why I always recommend you guys to keep these VPKs I just checked online and that download link for version 0.3 and 2 have been removed and everything has just been updated to version 0.4 so always keep these VPKs guys because you never know when you'll need them Let's try this one more time. Get into a quick demo again with Samus. And I'm sitting at 60 frames, so it's working just fine. Perfect. So there you have it. Working really good. So I looked online for version 0.3 and 0.2, and I can't really find them. Uh, they're no longer where the original download links uh, were located so everything just goes straight to 0 0.4 which is not good and that's why you always want to keep and back up your VPKs and I thought those links were gonna be there but it just directs me straight to 0 0.4 so that's a little concerning and I hope you guys do have your old uh, VPKs because that is going to be a problem just in case nightly version is not working for you you can always go back to version 0.3 or 0.2 and you'll be good so i hope this video was helpful if you guys have any questions comment down below if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up it really helps me out a lot and if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future Thank you so much for watching guys, take care and I'll see you on the next one.